good morning students today lesson unit 10 types of chemical reactions unit 10 types of chemical reactions learning objective state of equilibrium physical and chemical equilibrium characteristics of equilibrium ionic product of water in a reversible reaction both forward and backward reactions take place simultaneously in the equilibrium states in a reversible reaction both forward and backward reactions take place simultaneously when the rate of the forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of the backward reaction when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction then uh, no more product is formed this stage of the reaction is called equilibrium state what is equilibrium state when the rate of the forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction then no more product is formed this stage of reaction is called equilibrium stage the chemical equilibrium it is state of reversible chemical reaction in which no change in the amount of the reactants and products takes place at equilibrium rate of forward reaction is also equal to rate of backward reaction the rate of forward reaction is equal to a rate of backward reaction the explanation of the equilibrium initially the rate of the forward reaction is greater than the rate of the backward reaction first in the forward reaction the reaction rate is greater the rate of the forward reaction is greater than the rate of the backward reaction during the course of reaction the concentration of the reactants decreases at the time the concentration of the reactants decreases and the concentration of the products increases in the forward reaction the concentration of the reactants decreases and the concentration of the product increases since the rate of a reaction is directly proportional to the concentration the rate of forward reaction decreases with the time whereas the rate of the backward reaction increases in the certain stage in a certain stage both the rate of also become equal both the rates become equal from this point onwards there will be no change in the concentration at the point of equal there will be no change in the concentration of both the reactants and the products with the time and this state is called equilibrium state what is the equilibrium state in the equilibrium reaction both the rate becomes equal both the rate means forward and backward reactions uh, from uh, this point onwards there will be no change in the concentrations of both the reactants and the products with time this state is called equilibrium stage or equilibrium state let us consider the decomposition of calcium carbonate this is calcium carbonate CaCO3 Ca calcium carbonate CO3 calcium carbonate this is a decomposition reaction this is also forward and backward reaction generally it is called a reversible reaction it is in a decomposition reaction of calcium carbonate into lime and carbon dioxide lime calcium oxide and carbon dioxide are formed it is a reversible reaction 
the speed of each reaction can be determined by how quickly the reactant disappears. So calcium carbonate is decomposed to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The rate of decomposition of calcium carbonate is equal to the rate of combination of calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The decomposition only one reactant calcium carbonate to form more than one product that is decomposition calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This is decomposition reaction. At the same time in the reversible reaction the rate of combination so two reactants involved calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is involved to form the single product of calcium carbonate. This is combination reaction. The forward reaction is decomposition reaction. The reversible reaction is combination reaction. Not only chemical changes, the physical changes also may attain the equilibrium stage. Example, when water kept in a closed vessel, it evaporates. It forms a water vapor. At one time, the water vapor condenses back into liquid water and when the rate of this con condensation becomes equal to that of vaporization, the condensation and the vaporization also equal. The process attains equilibrium stage or equilibrium. It is a physical change. The equilibrium attained is called physical equilibrium. The equilibrium attained is called physical equilibrium. The water and then the rate of this condensation and vaporization is also equal in a particular stage. Uh, this is called equilibrium stage. It is a physical change. The equilibrium at time is called physical equilibrium. The downward arrow mark indicate condensation. The upward arrow mark indicate evaporation. This is evaporation. This is condensation. This is in the open state or open system or open container. This is a closed system. The, in the open system, the condensation is less. But in the closed container, both also the same. So this is the a different from the open system and closed system. In the equilibrium stage, the volume of the liquid and the gases phases remain constant. Since it is a physical change, the equilibrium attained is called physical equilibrium. This equilibrium is called physical equilibrium. Physical equilibrium is a state of physical change at which the volume of all the phases remain unchanged. This is an important point. In the physical equilibrium is a state of physical change at which the volume of all the phases remain unchanged. H2O water, evaporation is converted into gas. Then condensation again it is changed into liquid state water. The liquid state of water evaporated to form the gaseous form water vapor. Then after condensation is converted into the liquid state of water. This is the first stage initial stage. This occur in the closed container H2O gas. So this is a First container, second container, okay, this is evaporation, evaporation, then uh, condensation also occur, then in the equilibrium state, this is the initial stage, only evaporation is occur. In the intermediate uh, stage, evaporation and condensation also occur. In the third stage, that is in the equilibrium state, both evaporation and the condensation both also same. This is called equilibrium state. Evaporation and condensation both also same in the equilibrium state. 
which is state of equilibrium. Characteristics of equilibrium. What are the characters? In a chemical equilibrium, the rates of the forward and the backward reactions are equal. Then the observable properties such as pressure, concentration, color, density, viscosity, etc. of the system remain unchanged with time. In a chemical equilibrium, the rate of the forward and the backward reactions are equal. The observable properties such as pressure, concentration, color, density, viscosity of the system remain unchanged with uh, time. The equilibrium or in the chemical equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium. It's important known. The chemical equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium because both the forward and the backward reactions continue to occur even though it appears static externally. This is the important point in chemical equilibrium. In the physical equilibrium, the volume of all the phases remain constant. The chemical equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium because both the forward and the backward reactions continue to occur even though it appears static externally. In a physical equilibrium, the volume of all the phases remain constant. This is an equilibrium state or equilibrium state, chemical equilibrium. The state are reached when the concentration of reactants and products remain constant over time. So this is the important point. In the chemical equilibrium, the state reached when the concentrations of reactants and products remain constant over time, in a particular time. N2O4 gas, so 2NO2 nitrogen oxide. The color is brown color. Okay, then this is a forward and backward reaction. So this is equal in a particular stage. In aerated soft drinks contain dissolved carbon dioxide in a pop bottle that is in the soda bottle. In the aerated soft drinks it contain dissolved carbon dioxide in a pop bottle. Carbon dioxide is dissolved. When the bottle is sealed the dissolved carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide is mixed with water inside the bottle. The dissolved carbon dioxide in the form of carbonic acid and gaseous carbon dioxide are in equilibrium with each other. So this is the important point inside the, what is the reaction inside the bottle. When the bottle is sealed, the dissolved carbon dioxide in the form of carbonic acid and gaseous carbon dioxide are in equilibrium with each other. When we open the bottle, at the time of opening the bottle, the gaseous carbon dioxide can escape. This is forcefully applied, carbon dioxide. When we open the bottle, the gaseous carbon dioxide can escape. So, the dissolved carbon dioxide begins to undissolve back to the gas, gaseous phase, trying to replace the gas that was lost. When you open the bottle, that is, why if you leave it open long time, it will go flat. So, no reaction occur. After long time, the bottle is open it will go flat. All the carbon dioxide will be gone, blown away in the air. This is the reaction occur inside the cold drinks bottle. So first reaction, is in the equilibrium stage, so this is also equilibrium stage. So forward and backward reaction both also same. Then important point, Ionic product of water. 
ionic product of water. Pure water is often considered as a non-conductor of electricity. Pure water does not conduct electricity. Self-ionization or auto-ionization is a reaction in which two like molecules react to give ions. In the process of ionization of water, a proton from one water molecule is transferred to another water molecule leaving behind an OH ion, hydroxyl ion, OH hydroxyl ion. The proton gets dissolved in water forming the hydronium ion, H3O plus that is hydronium ion, OH, hydroxyl ion, H3O, hydronium ion, H2O plus H2O. In the forward reaction, hydronium ion is formed and the OH minus hydroxyl ion. In the backward reaction, so both also liquid, two H2O molecules to form H3O plus OH minus. So pure water is often considered as a non-conductor of electricity. Self-ionization or auto-ionization is a reaction in which two like molecules the proton gets dissolved in water forming the hydronium ion. These are also important points. The hydronium ion formed is a strong acid and the hydroxyl ion is a strong base. This is another important point. The hydronium ion formed is a strong acid and the hydroxyl ion is a strong base. They react again to produce water. Thus, it is a reversible reaction and attains equilibrium very quickly. The product of the concentration of the hydronium ion and the hydroxyl ion is called ionic product of water. So, this is important. What is ionic product of water? The product of the concentration of the hydronium ion and the hydroxyl ion is called ionic product of water. The ionic product is denoted as Kw. The ionic product of water is expressed as Kw ionic product is H3O plus and OH minus. H3O plus may be simply written as H plus ions. Thus the ionic product of water may also be expressed. Ionic product of water Kw is equal to H plus and OH minus. H plus and OH minus. Its unit is mole square dm minus 6 at 25 degrees Celsius its value is 1.00 into 10 to the power of minus 14. This is an important point. The ionic product of water is denoted as Kw. Kw is equal to H3O plus ions into OH minus ion. H3O plus may be simply written as H plus. The ionic product of water also expressed as Kw. It is Kw is equal to H plus into OH minus. Its unit is mole square dm minus 6 dm power minus 6 at 25 degrees Celsius. Its value is 1.00 into 10 to the power of minus 14. This is the important one. Thank you students.